it's time to get your quick fix with the remix. I'm Remixus and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. It's been about a year since I came out with my last Ember video. This game is still in pre-alpha, but I figured some of you would like to see the progress this game has made over the past 12 months. If you haven't seen my last video, you should go check it out to see where we have come from to where we are now. From the point of view of an outsider, progress has been steady and a lot has been accomplished, even if it's not the speed I had hoped for. Then again, I'm not a video game designer or creator and don't know the size of the team, so my opinion may not be valid. But let's jump into what is new and then I'll give you a few final thoughts moving forward. To start, enemies are able to spawn in via rifts. The enemies aren't able to attack and simply run around randomly. The rifts are set to deal the player damage and you're able to use your weapons to kill the NPCs. The weapon system has been overhauled and we currently have access to three weapons a primary assault rifle, a plasma launcher type rifle, and a missile launcher system. You can also kill enemies using the deep strike ability. The missile launcher system has a few bugs and I don't like the travel time or path it takes to get to the enemies. What I do like is you can direct some or all of your missiles to either a single target or multiple targets. This allows you to select which enemies to fire on and how many times to attack. I'm not sure when this was added, but aside from third point of view, the devs added first person as well. It doesn't currently have the animations, but the fact it's working in its infancy makes me very happy, especially if they ever decide to add PvP later on. I, along with many other gamers, prefer first person unless I want to take a screenshot and actually see my character, which is going to be a big deal since cosmetics are a big thing in this game. Currently, PvP is enabled in the builds, but is mostly used for testing things. The game will focus mostly on PvE. Thumper inbound. Next, thumpers have been added, which will be a main feature of the game. In Firefall, you use your thumper to complete missions or gain resources to upgrade your gear. Right now, the thumper walks around a little and drills, causing random elements to pop out of the ground. But you can't do anything with these as you don't have an actual inventory yet. That may be coming very soon. A couple minor things they also added are the dropship and more menu items. The dropship currently is used to pull the thumper out of the fight, and can also be seen flying around near one of the hills. The menu screen also receives some love as you can interact with the key bindings, audio, and gameplay. It also looks like they changed the skybox in the newest build, so the whole area feels a bit darker. I'm not sure if that means we will have changing weather or if it's a preparation for certain climate interactions with enemies or new terrain. I think that about wraps up all the new features this year. It doesn't seem like a lot looking back, but I have no doubt the team has been working very hard to get all these things out. Overall, I'm pretty happy with their progress. Having watched this project for the past year and a half, and a couple concerns have arisen though. Many of us know about all the problems concerning Star Citizen. But for those who don't, it's a massive project with hundreds of millions of dollars and feature creep became a huge problem for the design team. It's kind of an inside joke that the game will never be released. I do applaud people and communities who fund and create indie games that are not backed by massive corporations like EA, Activision, Blizzard. That being said, one thing those corporations do is set deadlines. To my knowledge, there's no actual deadline for when goals should be met and no repercussions if those deadlines aren't met. Nobody breathing down the developer's neck to make a profit. While that can be a big problem, it also makes sure that things get moving the way they should. A double-edged sword. We've all seen too well what happens when a corporation puts its greedy fingers all over a fan-loved game and doesn't let designers make the game that they want to make. I'm not saying Ember will go down the same path as Star Citizen, but I do worry about it, especially because I do want this game to succeed. Overall, my thoughts about this game are positive. I really like what I'm seeing, and I hope this project does well. Keep an eye on this project, and I'll continue to update when enough changes have occurred. Until next time, keep it real, and keep it on Remix.